Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a clean with me. My house is a mess, and so I'm gonna bring y'all along today while I get it cleaned up. And I'm so excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Eureka Rapid Clean Pro Cordless Vacuum. I'm gonna be um, showing you more about that later on in the video. But anyways, I'm giving y'all an overview of the mess that I have, and then we're gonna tackle it and get this house back in order. Okay, y'all, now I want to briefly show y'all this Eureka Rapid Clean Pro cordless vacuum. This vacuum, y'all, is amazing. It is lightweight and cordless, like I had already said, and assembly was so easy. It came all packaged really nicely, and so I just unwrapped everything, and it snapped together. I didn't even need to look at the instructions. It just snapped together very easily. This comes with a long-lasting lithium-ion battery, and it will provide up to 40 minutes of runtime. It comes with it, which I'll show you in a little bit, it comes with it, just an easy charger that you just plug into the wall. Here are some of the attachments that it has. And this has a specially designed cyclone filtration system that separates and traps dust, debris, and large particles. It has LED headlights so that you can see what you're cleaning. It also has an easy rest, which I have not seen in any of the cordless vacuums that I have um, had. And y'all know I have a couple, but it just easily rests on countertops or tables or whatever, and you don't have to worry about it falling over. If any of y'all have had a cordless vacuum, you'll know what I mean. It's very easy to maneuver. It has swivel steering, a low profile head, so you can easily get into every corner. And you can also go up underneath things. So it lays down flat. It says we put the dust cup and handle on the front of the pole and it's designed with a slim nozzle profile so nothing would get in your way of trying to reach under furniture. Here I am showing you how it just leans against there and um, I'm very pleased with it. So I am about to get started here in the living room. I'm just gonna start picking up in here um, and my daughter and her little cousin are here and they're just watching TV and stuff, I just let them kind of chill. And I'm just gonna be doing some cleaning. And in just a little bit, I'll be back to show you how well this vacuum works. Also, if you did not know, today is Amazon Prime Day. I will have a link down below for this vacuum. So if you have been in the market for a good cordless vacuum, I really recommend this one. Um, and they are gonna have some sort of deal since it's Amazon Prime Day, I have not checked it out yet, but y'all should check it out. It's a great time to make purchases on Amazon. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> right here in front of my door, there are always shoes everywhere. I have a little um, shoe rack and I try to keep the shoes on there, but of course everybody comes in and they just throw their shoes down. And if you notice, this rug is dirty. We had a lot of rain and we live out in the country, so a lot of mud and dirt was tracked in. So I'm planning on shampooing this rug pretty soon, but I was kind of waiting to make sure that the rain had kind of <laughs> slowed down, which I think it is. I think we're starting to get into real summer now. But anyway, so I'm just gonna get all these shoes in order and some of these need to be taken into their bedrooms, but I keep some here that they grab for more often. Yeah.
Okay, y'all, this area of our kitchen, this counter right here, is like a catch-all. It seems like this is where everybody puts stuff, including myself. Um, it just piles up there, and so I am always cleaning this area up. No matter how much I try to keep it nice and neat, it always gets piled back up, and I'm guilty of it too, y'all. So tell me down in the comments below, where is y'all's dumping grounds in your house? Like, what is the area of your house that is your catch-all do you have like a counter or a table or what i'm just curious uh, i know i'm not the only one this weekend we had had a ton of company and so the trash was overflowing usually i'll have brass come in here and empty this out but i was already doing all the cleaning anyway so i just figured why not just go ahead and empty it myself but a lot of the times uh Bryce does this for me and it was overflowing so bad that i had to get an additional bag to put trash in so that i could actually pull it out of there but this is not a normal we normally don't let it get this bad but when we have company i don't want to have to stop and do a ton of cleaning i want to be able to visit with them so And y'all, I love getting my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. Um, I'm actually using the Mrs. Myers Rose Scented um, All-Purpose Cleaner. I really like that, and I like the lilac. Where I live, it's hard to find these products. So, like Mrs. Myers and Method, it's just much easier for me to order them Um from Grove Collaborative. I always have them linked down below, so if you're curious about ordering something from them, you can go check them out. And also, if you're a new customer, um, when you first sign up, you will get a free five-piece Mrs. Myers gift set. And it's all clean. Y'all, I've had this table for several years, but a few years back, I redid the table because I didn't take good care of it before. But now, it's like my baby. I'm always like, put a placemat down. down. Be careful. I'm like always just at the kids. So they're to the point they know now, put that placemat down or mama's going to be over here saying, hey, you're messing up my table. <laughs> Okay, I gotta know, how many of y'all have kids that play with slime? Do y'all see those little containers over there? That is slime. Y'all, I don't like slime. It always makes a mess, but for some reason, these girls like playing with slime. <laughs> And y'all, a family of five, we always have laundry. You can see I'm piling up laundry that's clean on top of the dryer. And then I'm continuing on with more. I do laundry all the time. And then if I skip, like on the weekends, it's like Mondays come around. And I have so much laundry to do. It's never ending. Never. Unless we just all ran around naked, which uh, I don't think we should do. <laughs>
y'all. I thought I'd show y'all. Um, right here I have Kool-Aid or something that has gotten on our white laminate countertops. I think that's what they're called. I always use the Clorox um, cleanup spray. Spray it on there and within just a few seconds it's gone. So if you have countertops similar to mine and you think, oh no, I've got something on here and it's stained, it's not going to come off, that works. If not, then I usually get a magic eraser and that will help too. Just a little cleaning tip, just in case you didn't know. Okay y'all, besides mopping, doing dishes is probably my second favorite chore. <laughs> But I am thankful that I have a dishwasher. It's just getting everything loaded in there and unloaded. It's just, sometimes I don't like doing that. But Courtney has been helping a lot. We've been giving her that as a chore. It's not her favorite thing to do. And sometimes she complains and stuff and it gets on my nerves. But she needs to learn. So a lot of the time she will do this. But today since she had company, I just kind of let her be. And I decided to just do it myself. So let me know down in the comments below. What is a chore that you don't like doing? Like I said, my first would be mopping. Second would be probably doing dishes, especially hand washing. Ugh, I do not like hand washing. Now, what is your favorite chore to do? My favorite thing would probably be is when I get to sit down and fold the laundry. Not necessarily putting it up, but the part where I get to sit and just fold it and put it on hangers. I enjoy that. Um, and probably... I don't mind vacuuming. That's not too bad. Vacuuming and dusting is not too bad. Could have tried much harder. All we have are scars. You said we'd get so high. Higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. Look at us now. Could have gone so far. It hurts to breathe. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, um, my name over there is Kim's underscore farmhouse life. I post stories almost every day. So if you would like to see a little behind the scenes and kind of just a little bit of my day, day to day life, go follow me over there. get started it's time to get my head up again you said that you had to i'll try to forget you just didn't think we'd end up this way like strangers again And y'all, um, I got a new stove. It's one of the smooth top stoves. I bought this stuff called Ceramabrite, I believe is how you say it, from Home Depot. Comes with a little knife to scrape things off and then it also has the little scrubbing pads. And so I'm still learning how to use all this, but I was over here trying to get up um, a few of the spots. At first I used some, some of my all-purpose cleaner. Y'all know I always get tongue-tied. I used that to kind of clean it, but then I realized, okay, I need to get in there with this to scrub off some of the spots. Um, if y'all have any tips on cleaning these type of stoves, let me know down in the comments below because I'm still learning. So far, I think I'm keeping it pretty clean and it's looking really good and I'm really liking it a lot. And y'all can kind of see as I'm cleaning up my new little um, fruit baskets or whatever. 
I got them from, or got it from Amazon, or on Amazon, and it's like a two-tiered, and it also has a little hook, you'll see in a minute, I think, as I, as I move around a little more, there's a little hook so you can hang, uh, hang your bananas on there, sorry y'all, I'm so tongue-tied this morning, but I'm really enjoying that, I purchased that, it was not sent to me, I purchased that myself, and so I really like it, if y'all are interested in knowing more about it, I could give y'all the link to it. Okay, now I am moving back on into the living room. I'm gonna start dusting. And I'm using the Method Wood for Good um, cleaner. I love this stuff. It smells like almond. I love using it for dusting. I also get it from Grove Collaborative. But anyways, I'm gonna start dusting in here and uh, getting it cleaned up too. We finally got the kitchen part cleaned up. Uh, we will vacuum in just a little bit. And that cute little girl that you see walking by is my cousin's little girl, Kinley. She's so cute. Okay, y'all, I'm finally getting to use the vacuum. We're gonna start over here by the front door. And like I said earlier, I need to shampoo this carpet because of all the dirt that has been tracked in and mud. But I really like this. It's working very good on the carpet. And even right around the door, there's like a little bit of a crease where the carpet doesn't go right up against the door. And it got down in there and got that up. Um, now I will tell you, before you use it the first time, make sure you charge it completely because you will notice that I run out of battery life um, before I finish the kitchen. But that was my fault because I did not let it charge all the way up. So yeah, the first time you use it, make sure it's fully charged. Okay, y'all, you'll see here where it's laying down flat, like I told y'all earlier. Um, they put the dust cup and handle on the front of the pole, so it was designed so that um, it has a low, slim profile so that you can get underneath uh, furniture and things. So that is very helpful. I'm a sucker for your love. 
Okay, y'all can see the LED headlights. So now um, any dust and debris that was hidden that you wouldn't normally see uh, will be a lot easier to see uh, with the lighted cleaning path. Okay, y'all, I am going to show y'all a little close-up of the floor here in the kitchen. A lot of times on camera, it's hard for y'all to really see how dirty the floor actually is. So, yeah, here's a little close-up. Okay, y'all, I was not able to finish my whole kitchen, but that was my fault. Like I said earlier, make sure that you charge it completely before you use it the first time. I did not do that because I wanted to start cleaning and I wanted to do this video. So it was very easy to empty and I wish I would have had my camera set up better. I did not realize my angle was off, but it was real easy to just pop off and um, it has a little filter and everything. You just dump it out and just kind of clean that and boom, you're ready. So um, I really like this. And like I said, I have used some other cordless vacuums. And I would say this is one of my favorites. Um, it had really good suction and it did a really good job. It was very easy to put together, very easy to maneuver, very lightweight. I love how you can just prop it up against the counter and it will not fall over. So there are a lot of positives to this. I will have this link down in the description box below. Remember that today is Prime, uh, Amazon Prime Day, and so is tomorrow. So there will be tons of deals. So this is a great time to get you one of these vacuums if you've been wanting a cordless vacuum or if there's other things that you've been wanting on Amazon, this would be a great time to go and look at all the great deals that are going on. So I have, uh, at first I was having a little bit of trouble, but once I got it, uh, figured out boom it was on now i have used this vacuum several times since this video and i've had nothing but uh, just positive feedback to give on it so i'm just giving a little overview of everything that's cleaned up um, everything is dusted and vacuumed and the only thing i did not do today was mop I told y'all before mopping is one of my least favorite chores so um i did not mop but i will get that done so anyways i appreciate y'all so much for watching please let me know what you thought about the video down below um let me know if there's any type of videos y'all would like to see in the future um, but anyways thank y'all so much for watching if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and i will see y'all in my next video thank y'all so much for watching